Welcome to Agriculture Academy, where we show you how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like and subscribe so that you never miss out on any new videos. Leafy greens are one of the most wasted foodstuffs in the world. For example, in South Africa it is reported that only 26% of all the spinach grown gets consumed. That leaves a whopping 74% of all the spinach grown in the country destined for rubbish bins and landfills. Not only is this a monumental waste of food, but of the resources required to grow the crop as well. This is especially problematic in countries like South Africa, where most crops require supplemental irrigation in the dry climate. Information like this should make us all consider how we can become more sustainable consumers. By taking the wastage statistics of leafy greens into account, we can potentially help solve this problem by growing our own. By doing this, not only can we play a small role in decreasing food waste, but we can potentially save some money in the process. With that in mind, let's get into our list of the top 10 leafy greens that you can grow in your garden. Kale. Forget your run-of-the-mill lettuce, grow kale instead. This highly nutritious vegetable can be eaten raw or cooked. Kale can be grown from seed if you cannot get your hands on seedlings. Make sure that your soil is high in organic matter and slightly acidic. The organic matter provides the plants with nitrogen, a nutrient that is essential for big, healthy leaves. Kale can tolerate partial shade and is tastier when grown in cooler conditions. The soil should be kept continually moist and you can expect your first kale harvest about two months after sowing the seeds. Cabbage. This leafy green can be grown from seeds germinated indoors. A cool season plant, cabbage should be planted in the early spring or autumn to avoid the summer heat. Once the seedlings have been hardened off, they can be transplanted into outdoor beds. Plant the seedlings in well-drained, composted soils. Cabbage is a heavy feeder and requires ample nitrogen fertilization. As the seedlings grow, you can thin out some plants to give the heads more room to enlarge. Spinach. Like cabbage, spinach is also a cool season crop. The leaves are packed full of vitamins and fiber. Try to avoid growing the greens in hot weather, which causes the plant to stop leaf growth and produce flower stalks in a process called bolting. Due to the long taproot that develops, make sure that you plant the seeds or seedlings in deep, fertile soils. Keep the spinach leaves large and robust by adding nitrogen fertilizers and keep the soil moist. Mulching the beds can help suppress weed development and retain moisture. The leaves will be ready to harvest about 8 weeks after planting. Brussels sprouts. Help keep the sniffles and colds of winter at bay by growing these nutritious sprouts. You can grow the greens from seed by germinating them indoors and transplanting the seedlings outdoors once they are about 8 cm tall. Give the seedlings full sun and plant them in fertile, well-drained soil. These plants are heavy feeders and should be fed with complete fertilizers 4 weeks after planting, and again 4 weeks thereafter. To hasten orb development you can remove the leaves lower down on the stalk. The sprouts lower down on the stalk mature first, so twist or cut them off before they start to yellow. Pak Choi. This leafy green is a fast-growing type of Chinese cabbage. The seed can be sown in the late summer, so the plants are ready for harvest in the cooler seasons. The seed can be started indoors or sown directly into deep, fertile soil outside. Like spinach, pak choy bolts in warm weather, so keep the plants in a partially shaded area if you are planting them in hot climates. Keep the soil moist but don't let the leaves sit in water for too long otherwise they will rot. The veggies will be ready for harvest 5 to 8 weeks after the seed have germinated, but a more tender green can be enjoyed by harvesting after 5 weeks. Swiss chard. Related to beetroot, Swiss chard tolerates warm conditions far better than the likes of spinach, but is also commonly grown as a winter crop. Seed can be sown directly into fertile, well-drained soils. These greens require ample fertilization, especially in less fertile soils. After harvesting, the nutritional content of the leaves decline rapidly. Therefore, you can expect your home-grown Swiss chard to be far more nutritious than any store-bought option. Rocket. Otherwise known as arugula, rocket can be used to add a zing of peppery flavor to salads and sandwiches. The green can be grown from seed but seedlings will give you a harvestable crop in a matter of weeks. Plant the greens in full sun or semi-shade. Make sure that the soils are composted and well-drained. If you grow rocket in warm weather, harvest the leaves regularly to prevent the plants from bolting. You can ensure a continuous crop by letting some of the plants flower and drop their seed into the soil. Celery. 
Compared to some of the other greens on this list, celery takes a bit longer to reach harvest maturity. But the wait is certainly worthwhile as you can expect your homegrown celery to be more flavorful than most store-bought options. Commercially grown celery also commonly requires ample pesticide applications to keep pests at bay, so if you are concerned about chemical residues then you can easily grow your own. Celery can be grown from seeds started indoors or as seedlings. Start planting towards the end of summer and make sure the plants have well-drained, fertile soils. Cauliflower. The secret to growing cauliflower is a consistently cool climate. To get the best results, rather plant cauliflower seedlings as opposed to growing them from seed. Plant the seedlings in a soil enriched with organic matter. Complete fertilizer applications will also benefit the seedlings. When planting in the late winter, you can cover your seedlings with old plastic containers to protect them from frost. Irrigate regularly and try and keep the growing conditions uniform throughout the plant's life cycle. As a head starts to develop cover it with the surrounding leaves when it is 8 cm wide to blanch the head and keep it white. The heads will be ready for harvest about 3 months after the seedlings have been planted. Broccoli. This vegetable is closely related to cauliflower but is generally easier to grow than its white-hued cousin. This plant prefers cool temperatures and can be started from seed but is easier to grow from seedlings. Plant the seedlings in well-drained, fertile soils rich in organic matter. Broccoli can be planted according to the same schedule as cauliflower seedlings. Fertilizing during planting and again in the mid-season is recommended. Irrigation can be gradually lessened as the heads begin to mature. If grown from seedlings, the heads will be ready for harvest two months after planting. And that's our list on the top leafy greens that you should consider growing. If you are interested in reading more on this subject, we have linked the scientific paper we gathered our food wastage information from in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.